if you are under the age of 18 and are watching this video, please stop now. This content was not intended for you. Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here with a quick video for Craspire. I received some products from them and I am playing with them again. I have a couple of videos that I have done already. I will have those linked below in the description box. These are wax seals. You can use them to give as gifts and package them up as I have here and will share with you. You can also use them to seal your letters for pocket letters and things like that. You can add them to a project, whatever color max or wax melts you want. Um, and use it as something shabby like they're very versatile um, I have to get into using them more because I had so much fun creating this video so without further ado I am going to walk you through what I did how I did and um, show you how I came up with these wax seals so let's get started Okay, I'm sharing with you some of the items that were sent and they are used because I have done a couple other videos on this before. So I love this variety box of wax melts. You get so many wax melts in this little tray. You have 21 different colors and just a really cute. That gold is pretty. That rose quartz, very, very pretty. So I wanted to share with you guys again, um, just a little box that they come in. And then I have the heat spoons or the spoons you use on the um, to heat the wax melts and then they have uh flakes they have gold flakes copper flakes silver flakes then a mix of the two uh gold and silver so you can always add those into your wax melts and then your choice of wooden handles short long wood and then lots of stamps um so i have five here that i got from them lips butterfly thank you um coffee really cool stuff and then they have transparent wax melts on here so you have some with a little bit of an amber color and then completely clear and of course the um, little box thing that you use to heat up <laughs> your wax melts so now I am using this really cool electric lighter. I'll have that link down below. Um, I got it from Amazon. I did give a few of these away. I'm using my little tea candle, um, and I have get a set from either Target or Dollar Tree or what have you. I'm using my little mat so that I don't waste any product on my surface. Um, so that's where I'm going to melt my little wax melts. Put my little teaspoon on there. I do want to get another one of these little boxes so I could do two, three at a time, uh, which would be pretty cool. Another thing that I found is this little mold that I got from Amazon. Um, I don't need all of these circles because they only have one heat heat box, but um, I thought maybe if I get more in the future, I could use it. But I'll link this down below. It helps to create better circles. I saw that I was having trouble creating like a good circle. Um, really cute little coffee um, stamp here. I was just showing you that they're all interchangeable and I'm melting my little um, pearl rose quartz um, wax melts and I'm using four. I'll go back and use another couple um, wax melts to get a deeper impression but I found that um, my circles weren't circles. <laughs> they were just like flat blobs so I think this mold helped me in the end uh, to make, make beautiful cute little um wax seals so my wax is melting over there i got all my rest of my stuff set out to to melt next and i realized right here dang it i don't have enough so i'm trying to like squeeze it around to get a nice um good adhere uh, you know a nice good circle and i'm like well i'll add more i'll add more next time but it's really cute turned out really cute I use a little napkin to wipe it out, and then here I am. Let me grab a couple more of these little wax melts, and now I have, I think I have five in there. Um, so I'm melting, I'm using this yellow one next. I just want to try out the different colors. So as impatient as I am, this still was, was uh, worked for me, but it's so cute. Look how cute that is, and I like the wonkiness. That's what I'm saying. I kind of like the wonky. It doesn't have to be perfect. So again, I do the yellow. I'm trying to test out the colors to see what they look like vibrancy as compared to the wax melts does it change the, you know the same all that kind of stuff so i end up melting that little piece and add it on the end and we want to use it all up and i grab my other teaspoon while i am wiping this one and i kind of interchange that back and forth throughout the video so um all you have to do is just wipe it out with a little napkin <laughs> good to go so i'm going to try some red ones next um so I'm waiting a little bit longer for the gold to dry, the yellow one to dry here, because I'm like, okay, let me make sure. But then I realized 
It's super, super cute. It says thank you. But I realized the back of my wax melt has some chocolate on there that I did before, a brown one. And I'm like, oh, make sure you clean your stamps, honey. Even the stamps and the and the little spoons. Here, again, I didn't add the other two beads like I was supposed to add. So I'm like, okay, I'll do that on that one again since I messed up on the yellow one. Uh, but the red is so vibrant. Like it is red, red. And I love it. And I should have did the one with the lips. Uh, on red, like kind of sealed with a kiss, the little lips, you get it? Um, so anyway, here I am uh, melting the green ones and I decide that I'm going to grab another tea candle um, and hand, hand hold the little spoon and try to melt a little bit more wax because it just wasn't enough room on the spoon um, the spoon there, so I'm going to use a second spoon for the other one, because I really want to try to get a thick, um, impression, and see how that looks, to fill up my little circles over here, so now you can see how hot that is, I'm melting all the bits, scraping all the innards out, and I'm putting it in there, and then I realized this mold is just large, larger, so, um, but I love it, I love, look at how red, oh my gosh, I did a heart one, so cute, so cute absolutely adorable love these so checking my little green one the deep one that i did i'm like okay the, you can put a whole bowl of soup in here okay to make it that's too many um but next time i know <laughs> i'm just gonna use i'm gonna stick between four and five and then i start playing with the gold ones honey the gold and it's so so cute so i put that in there i learned to just hold the stick just a little bit let it cool for a second and then plunge down instead of immediately plunging down boom cute coffee one then i just start filling up the rest of them with the different type of gold filling them up gold filling them up gold so um i got the pace i had the pace down and i was ready to go look at look at this look look at that and i love the wonkiness of it i love that it's not perfect it's not perfect sealed it's i just do um i know that i have a thank you i have a lips i have I have a lot of them, so I'm just going through and seeing all that I did, and I decide I'm going to go ahead and package these up and put them in my repertoire of things to give as gifts, and I make a few more, yeah, and I even start doing them without the handles because the stamp is heavy enough where you could do it without the handles. I got a little carried away. I don't know if that one worked out very well, but um, really cute. I'm going to pick out my good ones, and I'm going to put them in a nice little package. But like I was saying, they're, um, I'm cleaning it up or trying to clean it up because I want them to be super wonky. But they were heavy enough for me to be able to just use the bottom half because it's a little metal piece. Um, you can use the stamp for a little bit more weight and a little bit more control. But I just plopped the, the stamp head on there right on the, on the mat there. So here I have some double-sided circles. And they are made for these wax seals. And I put them on top of some acetate. And I'm just going to go ahead and layer um, a bunch on here nice and neatly so that I can package them up. And like I said, you can give these away as gifts. You can keep them for yourself and just package them up and have them ready to go. Um, of course, you want to put them in a room where they're not going to be all st sticky together. So I think putting them on a piece of double-sided tape or one of these little double-sided circles will be helpful. And um, then you're good to go. So I think I'm going to do eight here. And then I'm going to go ahead and package it up. Y'all know my go-to is acetate, flash a little bit of sequins, get a clear bag, and put a topper on it. That is like my favorite thing to do. Not because I'm lazy, but because I love the packaging of it. It looks new. It looks crisp and fresh like you got it from a store. Um, like, you know, if you package it up right, the, the vision, the visual, you, we eat with our eyes. We, we see with our eyes. We like with our eyes. So... I like that. I added a little paper um, that I had just lying around um, behind me and fit a little topper. This topper came from a swap and it says just for you. I think that looks really cute together. I'm going to add a tiny little flower from my stash as well and I'm good to go. Always remember to package up your stuff from the bottom so that the people, the person receiving it can reuse the packaging and they're able to get it in and out without having to tear anything. Sometimes I forget. I'm not, I'm not going to lie, but if I catch it enough, early enough, I go ahead and change it real quick. So I just add a little bit of double-sided tape at the top. And like I said, the recipient can reuse it and just lay that down, honey. We are good to go. I'm like, mm, missing a little something. Check my little bin over here to the side. Ooh, look, a flower. And I am done. And now it's time to clean up all this mess, honey. I make sure that I put my wax melts back and 
clean off my um, little uh, wax containers and things like that and heat that up and wipe that off so I can use them next time without having to fuss and heat them up and do them. So um, I want you guys to check out the links in the description box and um, to Craspire, uh, their website, all their seals, their stamps, their handles. They have other stationary stuff there. So do check them out. Um, They're very sweet and it was great working with them. So um, go ahead and do that on the videos that I used that I've done before will be in the description box as well. That is so, so, so pretty. I mean, who wouldn't want to receive this? It's so pretty. Who made that? Um, be sure to like this video and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.